What is going on, Pats Nation? You guys already know who it is. Patriots Global here back with another video. And in this one, I want to talk about the New England Patriots and how center David Andrews is, and I quote, ready to go against the Buffalo Bills in prime time this Thursday. He is showcasing that he is probably the toughest player on this New England Patriots team. Now, it's been a tough road here for David Andrews so far for this 2022 season. Started off strong, but has dealt with a couple of injuries now. Against the Chicago Bears, he was out a couple of weeks with a concussion. Comes back against our second stint against the New York Jets at home and goes down with what looked to be a season-ending injury. And that's what it was being talked about after the game by really the high ends of the NFL guys are like Ian Rappaport reporting that this is likely it for David Andrews for the entire season. And if the Patriots were lucky enough to have David Andrews not miss the entire season, you are likely looking at him coming back um, for a potential playoff push if the Patriots made it there. I mean, he stayed on the field for a little while. He had to get help from two guys just in order to get to the sideline and then needed help actually getting down to the locker room with again two players with both of his arms wrapped around those guys. He was not putting any pressure on his feet, and he was basically just being carried to the Patriots locker room. It essentially looked like the injury that Mac Jones had when he was carried to the locker room, minus the screaming. I saw the report that actually said it took David Andrews about 5 to 10 minutes from the moment he went down and was carried off to the field to the locker room. It took about 5 to 10 minutes to get him there. Now, despite how bad this injury looked and despite the reports going around that this very well could be season ending for David Andrews or at least out for a very significant amount of time, if the Patriots were that lucky, he was back at Patriots practice two days after, two days after sustaining that injury against the Jets. He returned to Patriots practice and was getting ready to play against the Minnesota Vikings, who unfortunately the Patriots were without David Andrews in that game, but let's keep in mind, this was also a short week. The Patriots played the Jets on Sunday and then had to play the uh, Minnesota Vikings and travel to Minnesota to play the game on Thursday. The fact that there was any chance that David Andrews was going to play in that game is absolutely absurd and really just goes back to dictate how tough, how physically tough and mentally tough David Andrews is. And I was actually hearing that if that game had been on a Sunday and not a Thursday, a short week for the Patriots, there's a really good chance David Andrews would have played in that game and would not have missed any time. Now on Monday, David Andrews was actually asked if he was going to be good to go on Thursday against the Buffalo Bills. And he said, and I quote, good, ready to go, excited for the opportunity and looking forward to it which is clearly an indication that David Andrews will be back. He likely, depending how this game goes, was able to avoid being placed on the injured reserve. We haven't seen David Andrews actually back uh, in a game or getting actual snaps since that injury, but he has been back at practice since then. Now, I'll be really curious to see how this injury ultimately affects David Andrews because this is a thigh injury. How is this going to affect him getting off the line of scrimmage? He's a center. So at the end of the day, he's a big piece to the Patriots offense and a big piece to the Patriots offensive line. Not to mention that his get off off the line of scrimmage is one of the most important. Now, obviously your tackles come first, but other than, you know, your tackles here with Isaiah Wynn or Yanni Kajust and Trent Brown, the guy who has to get off the line fastest here is going to be your center. And I'm curious to see if he gets off the line slower and if that impacts him again due to the thigh injury. Now, James Ferentz, the guy who ultimately was replacing David Andrews at center, hasn't been bad, although he hasn't been nearly what David Andrews has been. In the game against the Minnesota Vikings, James Ferentz was able to put up a clean game. No pressures, no sacks, nothing, and put up an overall run blocking grade of 63.9. In the game against the Jets, though, in which David Andrews went down, only played, I believe, a total of 15 total offensive snaps. So James Ferentz did play the majority of that game there against the Jets. James Ferentz put up statistics of allowing one sack, two pressures, one hurry, and a 45.1 run, 45 run blocking grade with one penalty. 
And if we're going to look at the game before that, before our bye, our bye week here against the Colts, James Ferentz put up another clean game with a run blocking grade of 48.1. So James Ferentz really isn't bad as a pass blocker, uh, but what he's really going to provide um, him in David Andrews is when he comes back, he's going to be someone that's going to help out this run game a lot more. And what I will say is... You know, when David Andrews did go out against the Chicago Bears, our run game did struggle a little bit. Against the Vikings, our run game struggled big time. Getting David Andrews back will help the Patriots out in every phase, but more specifically will help them out from a continuity and leadership standpoint. Now, when you look at leaders of the team or the offense, you mainly look at quarterback and Mac Jones for obvious reasons, but a guy that is a close second there is going to be David Andrews, right? Because the center has to really diagnose the defense, diagnose what's going on in front of him, and let the rest of the offensive line know and even let the quarterback know. So that can really dictate how successful an offense is from not just drive to drive, but play to play. And getting him back for a game like the Buffalo Bills, I think, is going to be really important because, you know, while the Bills have had a good secondary in recent years, their secondary is going to be questioned with key pieces going in and out throughout the entirety of the season. Some of those guys even being on injured reserve, but their defensive line has what really has dictated how good this defense has been for a couple of years now, and they are likely to be without Von Miller, who actually, now that I'm looking at it, he is listed as out, which is a big loss for them. They do still have guys like Daquan Jones, Ed Oliver, Greg Rousseau, Jordan Phillips, who is very underrated in my opinion. And I'm sure they're going to give a little bit of all-out blitzes here from time to time at Mac Jones to try to get some pressures in him and force the Patriots into short, um, into excuse me, third and lawns, and they have linebackers to be able to do so. Termaine Edmonds, Matt Milano, those are definitely guys who are going to be able to get the job done. But guys, the New England Patriots will be back with leader, captain, and starting center David Andrews back in the lineup, which the last thing I'll say is that this Patriots offensive line has been banged up a lot this season, especially in recent weeks. And for some reason, they played an excellent game against the Minnesota Vikings, but I think this is going to be a different monster here against the Buffalo Bills. And for them to get some starting pieces back, for them to get some continuity back on this offensive line, I think is going to be really important and could definitely make a big difference. But what are your guys' thoughts on the Patriots getting David Andrews back and him missing only one week after looking like he was going to be missing the rest of the season? Let me know in the comments section below. Remember to leave a big like on this video for all of your New England Patriots news. And guys, don't forget... Go Pats.